Hey guys. So, uh, when I was in California and my kids were young, and I had that uh, mock up of the Enterprise in the garage, and I had shuttles in the backyard. Well, I made a lot of uh, videotapes and audio tapes for our missions. So, I did a lot of sound effects, and I found an old thing I used to use for sound effects. Um, I got this old Beckman Instruments giant rheostat that goes up to 140 volts. Of course, it only works, plugs into 120, so that's the maximum you can get out of it. But it has an on-off switch and has the rheostat here. So um, it's good because it acts like a rheostat for lights and also for motors. I got this old broken down uh, um, air cleaner. And of course, depending on how you modulate it, you can make all sorts of creepy sounds because the motor, the brushes are shot. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that for very long because that was, I threw your nails on a chalkboard. But that was just one of the things I used to use to make sound effects. The production value was not great, but. So, uh, a lot of dump pickups right in the street. Um, last night driving right in, in the road, I had to stop. There was this gigantic Ross um, uh, rollaway filled with an odd collection, personal papers, these two things, and I needed another one of these for the uh, rule of two. And uh, so I, I, it was all dirty wrecks. So I, I took off the little parts because they're kind of cool. They're um, seahorses other little pieces um, and uh, yeah the other thing was a box that had a, a gas powered uh, weed eater in it and uh, I saved that because of the cool warnings that's why I've got the guy's DMV record his uh, van uh, information it's weird I don't get it he's like discerned if it was a personal dump girlfriend dump landlord dump but this one is a mystery to me but anyway uh, so what I'm going to use this roll away for well um, there's a lot of things I could load stuff up and take it outside if I want to do something in the summer uh, I can use it as a standing shelf putting stuff in, in the fodder room uh, by the way someone said show us the fodder room we can take it so I'll show it to you this is before I've done anything to it in recent times Yes, the magnificence of the fodder room. This is about as bad as it was pre-flood. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, this is my next major job. But uh, I have to save up my energy for that one. Okay. My, my action figures are in here, by the way. I have more upstairs too. Um, no, I don't. I moved them all down here. Got to do an inventory of those. So let's go outside and show you the other dump job. I actually, there were four dump sites when I was driving home. Four, all in the street. The Emerald City is sometimes pretty stinky. I don't get people. Well, litter bugs. So I got this Romex. 14.2 and a little piece of 14.3 for a three way. Um, I'm going to take these apart for the boxes. Switches are old. I might use that in the garage because I need to do my uh, front and back security lights. I've got to redo those. Someone just literally tossed this out of a moving vehicle after a few bounces. The good stuff is taken out, but there's still stuff I can use. Um, as a matter of fact, these in particular, look at those cool things. Then, someone got a new Samsung uh, washing machine. And uh, I'm amazed by the thing. First of all, don't use a knife to rip this. You're supposed to use your hands. See? Tear it open. And then, don't stomp on it. As you tell that, don't smash it with another one. Don't carry it on your back. Don't carry it on your head. Have two dudes help you. 
Yeah, and then, I don't know, that's, it's made in Thailand, <laughs> Thailand, it's interesting, Samsung, who would have guessed, can't assume a Japanese brand is not made in another country, uh, so I didn't bring my Bigfoot guy out, I was going to do that, because Mega Bigfoot, there's two of them in there, and they used them to house bait, how do I know that, well, because you open this and it smells like fish bait, and also, they had these giant uh, coon stripe shrimp, which look like giant crawdads or prawns. And they had this. Keep cool and please don't litter. <laughs> they didn't obey that. Raised bait works. This was some kind of sh little shrimp. Oh, yeah, small sand shrimp. So I don't get it. That was in with the uh, luggage. It's weird. Oh, by the way, I had this out since last night, so the junk man went by and goes, I gave you $35 off. Are you going to give me junk, or are you going to take my junk? Are you going to pay me $35? Yeah. So, I just saved this to show you the interesting uh, signage. But look at the styrofoam. So, the, the guy puts the old wa uh, washer out and puts the new packing styrofoam inside it and on top of it. Like, someone's going to want that? Huh, weird. So I got a few pieces. Uh, this was part of the packing. So this is interesting. But look at this. Don't these look great for um, the top of a building? It's just about the perfect size for a front-facing diorama. Look at that. Awesome. So I got two different ones. And this, this one is broken, but I can cut it and put it together and make one intact one or use it as a... Uh, apocalyptic and destroyed thing. So, um, did this recently, put in some of the, the reed plants to see if I can get them to grow. So anyway, uh, I'll be taking this apart today. That's what I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm out.